So as we know, Fresh and Fit have had a pretty interesting time the last 30 days. They've had some victories and some defeats. The defeat is they got demonetized from YouTube, not just their main channel, all of their channels. And then the victory was is after getting demonetized, they were able to go to Rumble and keep things going, possibly making maybe even more money than before. And there are some people besides myself that weighed in on it. But then there was another person also who was very excited that this happened to them. Tasha K. Now, that's interesting from a lady who uses this same YouTube to spew hatred against people and tell false lies. Right. And I'm not trying to defend Fresh and Fit at all, but it's just interesting to see how the mind works. And, you know, she wants them to be demonetized and is glad, but yet she uses the same platform to spew hate about Cardi B. But nevertheless, she went to No Jumper and had an interview. And she was asked again about Fresh and Fit. And this is what she had to say. They're demonetized. I'm not going to surprise. I'm surprised it took that long. Just in case y'all don't know who these are, both black men, both African men, who have a great disdain for black women because black women have never accepted their geeky ass. They're geeks, right? And that's okay. I love me a good nerd. But for some reason, it hit them deep. They're retaliating. They're dating other races of women by default because black women wouldn't give them a chance. YouTube is very clear about their policies, okay? And they're always updating us. Their channel, and they admitted it in their video, was getting hit left and right. Not only were they striking other creators for giving commentary on them and trying to get their channel taken down, YouTube does not play that. They tell you, if you send out too many strikes, we will delete your channel. They were making monkey sounds, they were interviewing anti-Semitism, pro sayers, wear white uh, KKK hoods, all out of shock value, just for content. They're the type of people that have to have the groups of people sitting around them and they monetize that because if you were to just listen to them talk, you wouldn't listen to them talk for that long. They can't carry a conversation. Well, I know you're a Fresh and Fit fan though, right? <laughs> You know what? I'm going to say this about Fresh and Fit. I feel that a lot of their, their message comes from their true experiences with women. Mm. They're not the best looking men, right? But they're smart. I think they're smart. And, you know, if you went to high school, you know, girls didn't want the smart guys. Mm. They wanted the jocks. They wanted them tall. They wanted them with a little swag. And you, they don't have swag. Right. You know, but they're still getting ass, and that's they're, very motivational because they have clout now. Yeah, but they, I mean, you saw what's the dark skinned guy named Walter when he introduced, he was like, This is my girlfriend, turns out, this oh, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, they don't have the experience, mm. you see what I'm saying? And it's because they, they wanted to be the guy like you in high school. And they wanted the girls to like them. And so they have to do stuff like this to get girls to like them. I wasn't but, exactly drowning in p school, to be honest with you. I'm just saying, like, they, but they looked up to guys like you. You see what I'm saying? They want they want that. And hold on. For, oh, yeah. They want that. And so for, for guys like them, I'm going to be honest with you. Women like me, and I know a lot of women like me, we like guys like that. We like nerds. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You get a hood here selling drugs or they playing sports you gonna be a side right and i felt like because they they wanted to fit in somewhere where they didn't belong and, and the way they got treated this is their get back at women now we got the money we got the clout you you to submit to us and you're, you're nothing without us you know what i'm saying that's where a lot of that hatred comes from mm -hmm. but they don't understand women real women mature women will go for a guy like them as opposed to a rapper or, or an NBA player or a football player. They just don't understand it until they left with three, four babies by three different Right. And again, it's similar. She's saying in the first time, you know, these guys are upset because black women don't want them. Now they have a little bit of money. Now they have a little bit of clout, you know, things like that. They're doing fairly well. Um, and so because they're doing fairly well, they now have access to women, but they're nerds and women tend to like nerds. I don't know what the issue is. 
you know, like, um, you know, girls like jocks. And so they're mad at that and they're getting back at girls, you know, because now they have money. And that that could be true. But I want to talk about something that's very interesting. Tasha K is a woman who always talks about her husband, her husband being a nice, great guy. And again, you know, Tasha K always comes after black men, African-American men in particular. She, she likes to do that. No problem. Right. And she says that, you know, her husband and the kind of guy she likes is nerds and women do like nerds. That's true. If that's the case, Tasha K, why did you cheat on your husband? OK, like we've already seen the clip on on the lead attorney. I'm not going to play it right now. It's no need to do that. But you're saying that these guys have a hatred for women, which it, it could be the case to a certain degree. But we're going to be honest here. All right. A lot of things that women do is, is messed up to guys. It's just the truth. I don't care if I like fresh and fit or not. I'm, I'm dealing with the facts. The facts of the matter are this, okay? A lot of women out here feel like they can do whatever they want. Get with the guy, use him up, and then run over him. You know, the same thing that you've done with your husband. Your husband doesn't have a backbone. And I know why you prefer that. And the reality is, yes, Fresh and Fit have access to women now and all of that. And yes, at certain points in their life, they didn't get access. But the, but the, but the reality is, is that, you know, if a woman likes you because you're a nerd or you're a smart guy, listen, you still have to stand firm. You can be a nerd or a drug dealer or whoever else you want to be. And shout out to Simple to people. We had this conversation one night. He said, listen. I said, you know, let me ask you this. Do, do, do pimps get women because they're pimps? He goes, no. I said, well, well, why is that? He said, most women don't want to deal with pimps because pimps are pimps. He said, women want to deal with pimps because they like the pimp. They like the person. He said, it doesn't matter what I do or what you do. But the fact is, they like me. I could be a mechanic. I could have been a preacher. I could have been whatever. They like me. I make them respect me. So because of that, here it is. See, a lot of women like nice guys and nerds, but they don't respect them. And one thing I will say about a lot of the things in the red pill and in, 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 um, uh, uh, a manosphere communities, one thing I do love about it, they make sure clearly that you know, make women respect you. If anything else, make women respect you. That is ultimately something I really, really can appreciate. Make women respect you. Women got a lot of problem with that. Women want to be able to do what Tasha does to her husband, like cheat and then accept her to come back and then mess the hell, mess the bag up, let her lead. You edit all her videos. Then what does she do? She goes out there and gets sued by Cardi B. She's uncontrollable. Nobody can control her. She's causing chaos everywhere because you are a weak man. And still she goes out and sleeps with probably somebody else who got some damn backbone. That's the reality of it. And again, it doesn't matter if you're, you don't have to be a, a, a thug or, 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 cool, or, or a cool guy, whatever. I, I listen, the, the, the whole uh, lame thing is, is something that I've realized. It, you, it, it doesn't really matter. You need to have respect for yourself. Don't let women run over you. And once you can do that, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. But a lot of women, Say, look, okay, we'll take his nice guy. That don't mean, listen, that don't mean they're going to respect you. They can marry you. They can have your babies. And listen, you'll sit, be right there, that same guy, that same guy sleeping on the couch in a, in, in a sexist marriage. You'll be that same guy taking care of a woman and she's uncontrollable. That same guy. Trust me. I've seen it so many times. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Dick Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do, the bell. We're out.